welcome back to the Royal Kingdom Estates platform. I'm so excited today because I think you guys have noticed that it's been a while since we came to you with a beautiful side video like we always do. I know firm apologies from me but we were having a bit of inconsistencies the weather the rain it's been a lot of things in the background but today i'm so grateful that we were able to make it a point to be here today and as you know i'm joined by our engineer george and he's going to be speaking on this project that we are all very 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 familiar with we started from the ground we are at this level i believe we're at the formwork stage yes we are at the formwork stage uh, so currently as you can see mm -hmm. the formwork is being done for both the beams okay. and then the slab but the beams first okay so we do the beams mm -hmm. for the outside because we are not doing lintels okay. so lintels are the yeah, concrete that, that is on top of the windows and the door openings right but the beams are the ones that carry the slab okay so we are doing the beams and then we support them and we put a plywood on it and then we cast we okay. the reinforcement and the pipes that will come then we cast i see yes. i so mean we've, this is the formwork yeah we've spoken about um formwork on our different sites on the different constructions and then the projects that we have for our clients you've said one or two things about it but let's just get a bit deeper let's okay. for people that are watching our channel for the first time let's just give them an oversight of formwork in okay. general okay so this is what actually the next floor that is going to sit on this building yeah this is what we prepare to carry all those concretes okay. concrete is wet you can't just put them in spaces yeah so you need to create a formwork pour the concrete to mm -hmm. take the shape of whatever it's basically you want. like a mold yes okay so you do the beams you can see this is the beam yeah the beam is usually 450 Okay. That's in the depth. Mm -hmm. Then the slab is 150. Is there a specific reason why you chose that? Dimension? The structure engineer was specified. Okay. Uh, it's dependent on the weight that is going to be imposed on the building. Yeah. So the weight the building is going to carry, mm -hmm. that would determine the depth of okay. your, your beams and sometimes your columns as well, or okay. most of the time your columns as well. Yes. Okay. So the beams are 450 mm -hmm. mm and then the slab is 150. Okay. Add it up. So we prepare the formwork with those measurements in mind and then the reinforcement will come in. I see. I saw cast. I saw the carpenters working yes. very, very, very yes, hard. Yes. They are amazing. They are wonderful. And um, what are some materials that um, go into formwork? Okay, so depending on what material is available in terms of availability mm -hmm. and then cost. So availability and cost. Mm -hmm. Now, you can see for the supports, we are using bamboo. Yeah. I saw one of my colleagues well, talking to you earlier that why bamboo? Bamboo, like, in terms of availability and cost, is comparable okay. to maybe 2 by 4 or using the, uh, what do you call it, the beams, okay. the steel beams. Mm -hmm. Bamboos are sometimes reusable. If, mm -hmm. you if you have the height available, you can still use them. So we use the bamboos for our supports. Okay. We use the wawa board. You can use cyberboard, but whichever you can afford. Okay. But we are using the Wawa board what for this. What can you use apart from the bamboo? You can use two by four. Mm -hmm. You can use two by six, but you are also looking at the cost. Okay. The bamboo compared to the two by four, mm. the two by six, or the metal uh, steels that we use, bamboo is more affordable. Okay. In terms of cost, it's mm -hmm. more affordable, and okay. it is the preferred thing to because bamboo can be cut to whatever height you want okay. but then there's still you have to adjust them right. and if you don't have the experts to do that this the computers can easily handle it mm -hmm. but if you bring in the steel you have to bring an expert who handles steel okay. to do that for them so before they the can right also do their work okay. yes yeah so uh, uh, availability and affordability mm -hmm. the bamboo is, is advisable to be used for all the supports okay. yes and then we use the boards for the side and then we cut the board we cut some of them into the size of block work. We okay. call them beam plates. Okay. Uh, beam I'll, plates. I'll show you a typical example. Okay. Those are the ones that sit on top of the bamboo. Oh, okay. They are the underside of the beam. So right. beam plates. And then the side and side, those are the sideboards. Mm -hmm. So those, the ones covering the side are the sideboards. The one underneath is a beam plate. Okay. And then the bamboo comes in it place. Comes in. Yes. Okay. So the concrete just goes in, inside. inside that. But then you have to put your reinforcement in before right. you pour the concrete. Okay. So that is for the beam. And then the slab itself, as you can see, we still have the sideboards. Mm -hmm. And then we have the two by four mm -hmm. underneath or at the top of the on sideboard. Of the, yeah. And then we, when the two by four is in place, you put plywood on it. Okay. On top to receive the reinforcement yeah. before the concrete. I see. Yes. But I, I can I can still see the rots in there. They were there the last time that yes. we came. Those are the 
the rods for the column. For the column, yeah, they are continuation runs when no, you are they are supposed to connect with whatever uh, whatever reinforcement they are putting in the slab. Okay. So they have to communicate. They have to connect. They have yeah. to uh -huh. So they are they are there. They have a use to connect with the beam and then the slab. So then we continue. Ah. It also continue the block work above. Okay. Yes, you continue all the way to the roof. All right. We stated that this is the ground floor. This From ground here, floor. you're going the to the first floor. The first floor. And then the roof. And then the roof. We have some concrete work at the roof as well. Okay. Yes. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah. There's a lot happening right now. Yeah. I think very, very, very soon you're going to be done with the groundwork. Sure, sure. Interesting. We've already done a walkthrough on this um, particular project. So if you guys want to see the details, the rooms, the sizes, everything, just scroll. We have all of the videos right from the beginning up on the channel. You can watch and then catch up with us at this level. So yeah, after you do the slab, what are we looking at next? Uh, block work okay. for the next floor. Okay. So when we cast the slab, you have to wait for 21 days mm -hmm. for the slab to cure. Yeah, I think you mentioned this before. <laughs> the, I'm the learning. <laughs> the slab to cure properly. Yeah. And then during that stage, you might either be watering mm -hmm. or covering up, okay. depending on how the weather is going to be, so we can yeah. control the temperature and the yeah. moisture content. Okay. And then after 21 days, when we are so sure that, that we are cured. properly cured, yeah. we can start striking out the form works. Okay. But we might leave out the beams, put our block work, and wait for maybe two weeks again before mm -hmm. we take them off. I see. Yes. Wow, that's very, very interesting. As soon as we move from here, the carpenters are kind of they're gonna come back, start working, cause time. Quick, 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 quick. <laughs> and because today the weather is a bit favorable to us, yes. so we need to cover as, 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 as much as, as possible. Much, yeah, as pick can. up the pace yes. and then do more work. That is amazing. Yeah, so we already mentioned in the previous episodes that this is going to be a three floor building. Yes. I know we're not at the rooftop um, stage yet, yet, but I'm sure people are very, very curious. Can you give us a little insight on so what's going to happen? We have basically we have two floors. Okay. Or yeah, two floors. So we have the ground floor mm -hmm. and then the first floor. Okay. And then there's another floor on top of the entrance. Mm -hmm. That one is only accessible when you're on the roof. Okay. Yeah. So basically, you have three floors, mm -hmm. but then it's mostly two. Okay. So ground floor and then the first floor. Okay. That's by the British standard. Mm -hmm. The American will tell you three floors. Three floors. <laughs> because this, this is the first floor. Yeah. The ground floor is the first it's floor the first for floor the, the second and then the third. Yeah. But in the British system, it will be two floors. Two floors, yes. yeah. Okay. And then the rooftop? The roof, we have a simple gable, but then as I said, there's a concrete on top of the entrance. Mm -hmm. And then the roof itself, the carcass, the roof covering will come. Yeah. And then the, over the porch. This area. slab that you're doing is going yeah. to go for all the floors, right? Yes, it's, this is the next floor. Okay. This slab is going for the next. That is what is going we'll to receive have, okay. the block work and mm -hmm. anything happening at the mm -hmm. top. Yes. Okay. Oh, I see. After the form work, we might even lay rubber on top. That is, if you are not using marine boards. Mm. If you're using the marine ply, we might do away with the rubber. Okay. The rubber is just to prevent the water from the concrete seeping off faster than anticipated. Okay. So we put the rubber on the plywood or the marine board. Mm -hmm. The steel bender will come and do his reinforcement arrangements. Mm -hmm. The plumber will also come yeah. do his setting. The electrician will also come okay. do his piping for here is the room. We need light and switches mm -hmm. over there. So he come and pass his pipes before we cast. Wait for 21 days. Then we can take out some portions. Okay. Those that are not really important, we take them off, start our work and then we work for another two weeks before we strike the, everything out. The same thing will be replicated on and all the, the top, floors. Yes. Okay, that's interesting. At what point do you do the plastering? After everything, after everything is done? After the structure frame, everything is done. Everything. Our conducting, our okay. piping, everything is done. Then we start with the plastering. Okay. Plastering actually marks the beginning of finishing. Okay. So once you start plastering, you are getting to close to the finishing stage yeah. of the okay. After after we finish the plastering, what kind of finishing are you going for? Well, I know be... nowadays I really like um, <laughs> graffiato. graffiato. <laughs> no, but but then graffiato you can't really do graffiato internally. Okay, graffiato right. is usually for the, for external, the external part of the building. Okay. Internally, don't do graffiato. So what what finishes will you do on be, the outside? It could be normal painting. You okay. might skim and paint over. But then we also look at the purpose of the building mm -hmm. we don't want to retain too much heat inside yeah. we, don't, we don't want to retain too much coldness inside. so you might make the paint okay. it could be acrylic or a bit of emotion whatever works yes. but you might you don't use oil paint internally as well okay. it creates a lot of heat in the yeah. room so acrylic or emotion then graffiato for the externals hmm. yes. can't wait to see how <laughs> it will look when we're done can we go to the entrance sure sure i think we visited the entrance yes. when 
we started filming for it mm -hmm. at that point we weren't at this level okay but i can see it's very very high very very high i kind of struggled when i was climbing yeah. it what's what's i used the back <laughs> okay anyway uh here because the roads are not really settled with yeah so this is the measurement the structure engineer gave us okay but then the drains will be coming mm -hmm. the compound works or the external works also come and then there are two steps in front two steps two steps to okay. assess the building okay. so when we finish the compound works and every we get all the level in place mm -hmm. then we introduce the steps to but come the in. ground level will remain like this right it might not remain like this. it might even go higher than this okay, okay. because once that they, they give us a gradient for the road mm -hmm. and then the drains mm -hmm. everything will change i see because we don't want water from the road or the uh, drains coming inside the house yeah. it's supposed to move from the house outside, outside. so that is why we, we took it this high Wow. But they are all specified in the drawing. Okay. They are all specified okay. in the I drawings. I think we yes. showed the drawing when yes. we were at the excavation yes. stage. So if you're that curious, please find that video and then watch it. You have all of the details that yeah. you need. Well, thank you so much for Welcome. speaking on this level that we're at. So I believe the next time that we get here, there will be more works done. They would have covered so much more. Yes. And then we can get into the details of it. We can look into the spaces, sure. all of the updates that are coming with this particular project. I'm very, very, very excited You're to welcome. see it. Yeah, I'm waiting for it to finish so that I can just stand <laughs> at the rooftop and, and take selfies, around. honestly. Um, guys, so there you have it. Stay glued to the channel. Subscribe, do like and share the video. You know, we'll always come back with more amazing content so stay tuned